So guys, the uh, Gary O'Neill press conference has just taken place. So this is the main point that's come out of that. And stay tuned because we do have some really positive uh, team news uh, coming out. Uh, so we'll cover that towards the end. Uh, but of course, uh, Gary O'Neill was questioned by uh, the media and a lot of the focus, it started on about VAR, it kind of ended on VAR as well, but Gary O'Neill, of course, has been charged uh, for his conduct after the match, um, and he didn't really want to get too much, um, say too much on that until after the process. He will talk about it, he said, but it would be wrong for him to talk about that until after the process. Of course, he's got till Monday to appeal, and the independent review panel today, <laughs> have apparently uh, confirmed that they believe that the correct decision was made. Uh, Gary O'Neill's, of course, talked about that um, as well. He says he can't really understand that and it's concerning because, like, even the West Ham dressing room didn't think it was a, a goal. Then we've moved on to uh, talking about uh, the game uh, ahead uh, against Forest, and uh, it was brought up regarding uh, Nuno Espirito Santo. He said he can't remember coming against Nuno. He might have played against him. Obviously, complimented Nuno on all the fantastic work that he's done uh, at Molyneux uh, when he was here. Uh, he went and said, I'm surprised that Forest are where they are. They've got a, a very, very big squad, abundance of players, and they would be probably disappointed. Didn't go too much into the points deduction. Uh, said that they're preparing for the game. It's going to be a very tough game for them. And we want to go out there and put on a performance, uh, hopefully get a result. Uh, referred a little bit back to the West Ham game in terms of the goals that we gave away. Uh, he said we played very well in the second half. He said he didn't remember Saul really having a save in the second half. Uh, two uh, bad goals that we conceded. Um, obviously, they've been working on a lot this week. They've been talking about dealing with Chris Wood, who always scores against us, actually, and how they're going to deal uh, with that. Um, and said it's all right working on it, but we've got to put it into practice and it's harder to do on uh, the day. And, um, yeah, then we got on to some team news. And uh, we do have a young man here, actually, that I've spotted. Do you recognise this young man? Here we go. I've just got here, Dad. We're, we're having some cream. I said yes, we're going to have a, have a cup of tea and uh, some cream tea. We've got some team news. He has confirmed that Wang He Chan will be in the match day squad tomorrow. So that's some positive news. Don't expect him to start. Uh, he'll probably get some minutes. So that's positive. And then again, it went back to VAR again at the end. Obviously, um, you know, it's uh, another game. We're going to be, well, I'm going to be in the, the Forest Fan Park, which will be interesting um, before the game. And uh, make sure, uh, if you've enjoyed this update with all the main points from the press conference, uh, smash the like if you like more, you like that. And if you uh, want to make sure that for all your Wolves content, hit that subscribe button. Loads coming up, of course, um, after the game. Make sure you subscribe as well, because we've got a watch along with Chelsea. Let's hope we can get uh, a victory for them. But the Gary O'Neill press conference has taken place. Just, I'm off for a nice cream tea yes. and, a, and, a, and a drink with my with my dad here in the Manda Centre. So uh, until the next one, always wolves. Always wolves.